Let's start with the big news out of Twitter, and that would be that Twitter is now paying content creators. That's right. This last week, Twitter officially announced advertising revenue share. And if you've spent any amount of time on Twitter, you saw the annoying amount of tweets, the avalanche of tweets saying, hey, thanks at Elon Musk, with a subtle humble brag with a screenshot of how much money they earned. Here's the thousands upon thousands of dollars I earned from tweeting. You didn't earn that much money, scrub. At least that's how I interpreted some of them. Mr. Beast earned, I think, $25,000. There were a lot of people that earned thousands upon thousands of dollars. Now, it was unclear what the time frame of those earnings was. If it was one month, three months, six months, a year, we don't know. Or at least I wasn't able to decipher what the time frame was. But there seems to be substantial earnings potential for Twitter revenue, Twitter advertising revenue share. And that's great. So how does this work? You currently only earn revenue share on advertisements that are placed amongst the replies to your actual post. So if you click on one of your posts, you will see a reply, a reply, a reply. Hey, there's a little cute little advertisement. Another reply, then three more ads, then a reply, reply advertisement. You will earn revenue share on those. But if there is an advertisement in the general Twitter timeline, my understanding is you don't earn a single dime. As far as who currently has access to this, it seems as though it is invite only. So unless you're already a part of it, I don't see any way to join at this point. But what are the criteria that will be required when they open up the application process? As it stands, you need to be signed up for Twitter Blue. So you need to be paying Elon Musk. You need to be paying Twitter. 10 bucks a month, I think it is. You need to have... 5 million impressions per month for the last three months, and you need to pass some kind of human review, whatever that is. They need to determine that you're a human and not a robot. They also need to learn your weaknesses so they can destroy you more effectively and efficiently and take over the world. Tinfoil hat is now off. As far as the impressions requirement, I don't know if that is just You need to have three months of 5 million impressions per month, and then you gain access forever. Or if every single month, the prior three months, you need to have 5 million impressions. Two very different requirements, 5 million per month to gain access, or 5 million per month for the last three months to maintain access. Very different. But what do you need to do to get paid? You need to have a Stripe account, and you need to follow their creator subscription policies. If you want to read what those policies are, I will link them in the episode notes and description because I'm not going to read them to you. That would be as boring as sin. But like most creators, most people on Twitter, as soon as this was announced, I am sure you thought, hey, am I going to get a big fat check from Twitter? Elon Musk, are you going to give me a bunch of money? So I went into the creator studio, the creator analytics, and what did I find? For context, I have about 6,500 followers. I posted 95 times in the last 28 days. That's not actual tweets. That includes replies. The impressions that I had, 47.6 thousand. That means that my impressions would have to increase more than 106 times in order to meet the threshold to get revenue sharing. Not just for one month, but for three consecutive months, my impressions would need to be 106 times, 106 times higher than what they currently are. When I saw that, I came to terms with the fact that I will not be seeing a dime from Twitter. There's not a chance in heck that I am getting a dime from revenue sharing. And I am assuming that my profile, my account, my tweeting practices are similar to a lot of people. They're not perpetually on Twitter. They don't care too much about engagement on Twitter. They just post when they have something to share. And that leads to what I thought was a pretty good impression count of 47,000, but apparently that's a hundred times worse than what Elon Musk or what the current Twitter CEO wants you to have in order for you to earn money. 
So I think it's safe to say that the vast majority of us won't won't see anything from this. It's cool. It's cool. Maybe if you sign up for Twitter Blue, you get pushed a bit more. The algorithm favors you a bit more. Maybe I should try that out. Sign up for Twitter Blue for a few months and see what kind of impressions I get then. Who knows? Because I would need to be on Twitter Blue if I want to get paid anyway, right? Might as well do it. See fewer ads too. I don't know. Let me know if you want me to test that out and I'll report back. I'll sign up for it. Whatever. Who cares? That's it for the news. 